Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI. And this is an 80-year-old patient. They have lots of findings, but one of them is a fluid collection here in the front of the shoulder. So this is the subscapularis muscle coming sideways. Here's the tendon attaching on the left tuberosity. If we go up high, we're going to find the coracoid process. There we go. It wraps around here. Here's the top, uh, the tip of it. Here's the coracobrachialis muscle going down. And we can see this fluid collection is in front of the subscapularis, but behind the coracobrachialis muscle. And if we look on the sagittal view, we want to see does this communicate with the joint or not. It does not look like it does there. And on this view here, we see a sagittal view. This is the joint. There's no fluid in the joint. And there's no fluid up here. There's a space up here, potential space. We call this the superior subscapularis recess. Very commonly, if you have a joint effusion, the fluid will poke out here in the front into this recess or bursa, and this will be distended. And sometimes it will wrap down here in front of the um, subscapularis muscle and tendon. It can be hard to tell apart from what this is. But again, there's no fluid in the joint. There's no fluid hanging over the top of here. So this is something separate. This is a fluid collection entirely in front of the subscapularis and below the coracoid process. And we call this the subcoracoid bursa. And so when the fluid is really descended like this, we say they have subcoracoid bursitis. And this is a very straightforward case of this. Fluid is obviously separate. They have no fluid within the joint, but it's surprising how hard it can be to tell where the fluid is sometimes up here when you see fluid hanging over the top of the subscapularis tendon and there's a joint effusion. It can be hard to tell if you just have fluid within that superior subscapularis recess or if there's also a bursal effusion here in the subcoracoid bursa because it looks like the fluid is, is continuous sometimes. So this is a very straightforward case. I want to show it and thank you very much.